I'm excited and nervous. I'm headed to Wandering Wolves, the first official Waiko Wolfpack race. It's a 25K, 15 miles. I haven't run 15 miles in a week since June. But it's a beautiful morning. I'll be with friends. It's some of my favorite trails. I think it's gonna be a good day. into the trail over there being a wolf pack event of course there was an expectation for a few call outs to be had and i got called out john frank challenged me to the race and being a wolf pack event the suggestion was made that perhaps we should chug a beer before starting the race this is the dara it's a dara dam from barcelona wow it's a gluten-free 5.4 Whoa! Vegan, all that. Cerveza. Mine is the KC Craft Brewers Old World Pilsner. Coming in at a 3.5. 5.3. Oh. I said it reverse the other day. <laughs> I was like, uh... I was throw the <laughs> okay, yeah, it's official. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's on. Let's go, Todd. <laughs> Must be close That's, how you know. That's how you know Todd's behind you. <laughs> <laughs> a little over my line. I may have made a mistake in that I went past John and some of the others on the uphill. But I was feeling it, so I went for it. Behind me. Let's keep it that way. Where he belongs. Five and a half miles in. I think I can hear John and Peter behind me. Past shelter nine. I don't see another group that's coming back. Six miles in. I can maintain this pace for two more hours. Well, pace I'm walking right now. I think the pace I'm running at too. Alright, let's go get to this other aid station. We agreed to do a beer at the beginning of the race and one at the end. But the day before, the race director, Cody, suggested, why don't you guys do one beer in the middle? And so we did. All right, seven and a half. Oh, yeah. I met up with Scott and Chris. Oh, hey, right. Oh, wait. Oh, we're cutting that off. Okay. I didn't realize that. Water, I need a beer. Woohoo! Get a beer, Cody. What, do we deduct this time? Oh, jeez. Uh, no. There's water there. Uh, damn, I can't get this down. Slippery. Uh, see y'all. Thanks. Whew. Well, 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 look who it is. I nice work. Good job, man. How's that beer? Uh, that sucked. Delicious. At least it was cold. Yeah. I led to the halfway point, chugged that second beer, and that did not feel so good. He caught me shortly after that and then led the rest of the race all the way in. Congratulations, John.
mile 11. It's so pretty down here along the lake. I was leaving that aid station and Jerry said, he's hurting, you can catch him. I took off running, but uh, I'm hurting too. I'm gonna give him my all. It's starting to rain. That's a great sign. Yeah, nice finish. 14 miles, just gotta go up. Big climb on white. I think there's a shell sloop in there. And then beer and tacos and more beer and bread and more beer. One more big climb, Stephen, and we're home free. Yep. Don Frank beat me in the call out. The weather was nice, it was cloudy, but there's still a Woohoo! Woohoo! The vibe at the finish line was awesome. I mean, there was great Mexican food, there was drinks, there were games. It was a real party. It's a good place to be. I don't think you want to go. Thank you, Mark. Learning this after your commentary. If you grab it with your teeth, it's used to help. Yeah. But you don't want to chip your teeth in there. Oh. He's going to pour it in your mouth? He's just pouring it in his mouth. I would like to see this. It's going to happen. Here it comes. Uh oh. <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> Dan, wait, what are you doing? Dan! Dan! Dan, wait, will you wait? Dan, wait! Oh, what is so hard about this? I'm gonna say go. Go! Go! Oh! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>